What's up guys, Amage is back with a new episode of Code 7. So in the last episode we had our next mission with Bear. We brought um, two synths back with us home. Slicer and I have to admit I forgot the name of the other one. It was, wait a second, the name was, I am so, so not prepared. Max, Max was the other one that we were able to save to bring back home with. I'm really glad to be honest that we saved Slicer as well because like I, thinking about it, we could have killed him as well, but I think saving was definitely the better option. So now we have a lot to do. Muffin receives an update, that's what we will do first. And then we have our next mission with Raven available going to Lobster Town. But now Muffin, learn and then we have if loops available i'm really looking forward to this one mm, you probably need an if condition in your while loop here i unlock muffin's conditional statements okay so where's the difference to while okay let's we know that come on let's do this do you want to hear it no come on we know while and if loops right new command available if so Working with Muffin, you don't need an if condition outside a while loop. You don't need an if condition outside a while loop. Okay. So that means while. While there is no wall on our right side. And Here you if, define what condition is being checked. I know. So, while while right, while wall on our right side. Wait a second. We go forward, and then we check if. There's no wall on our right side. Here you define which commands are being executed once the above condition is met. We turn right. Memory full. But that should be it actually. Which okay, no that's not good. While there's a wall on our right we go forward and if there's no wall on our right we turn right, but then that's the end. Let me think about that one. Oh wait, I'm stupid. It's so easy actually. So while there's no wall ahead, we go forward. And then while going forward, we check if there's no wall on our right. If there's no wall on our right, we turn right. And then again, there's no wall in front of us. That has to work. Yes. That's it. We got it. Nice. Okay, next one. Oh shit. All right, so while. So again, while there's a wall and okay, well that's. Oh shit! Okay, we have to turn in different directions now. Well, while there's no wall ahead, we go forward. If there's no wall on our right. We turn right. Can I... Can I go... So I want to... Okay, let's do it like this. What memory full? You're shitting me. Can't I just say if there's no wall on our left? Turn left? I don't know if this it works. Yeah, yeah, it works. Okay. No, it doesn't. Fuck. Okay, so we check twice if it's on the right side. I need to put this separately. Okay, that's. Yeah, why didn't that work before? So while there's no wall on the left, you turn left. There's no wall on the right, you turn right. 
while there's no wall in front of you, you go forward. Yes. That's what I wanted to do. Awesome. So, last if loop. Well, it's not really a loop. It's not really a loop. If it's not a loop. Okay. Well, that one's easy. No, that, no it's not. <laughs> Hey, wait, let, let me check. If there is no wall on the left, and if there's no wall on the right, you turn left. That should be it. Now, he, yes, he checks every time. Okay. That was easy. Cool. I love it. All right. That was that. Is there anything new in here? I really love this game, I have to say it like this. It's really, really good. Rabbit Rabbit's Remarkable Report. Oh, they get more every time, but I don't... I'm really sorry. Actually, it's really interesting, but it's just too much to read. Lobster Town. Travel to Lobster Town, find Gorski and interrogate him on the Phantom Lake. Let's go. We know that Gorski has traveled to a part of the city called Lobster Town, named after all its fish markets. We need to go there and find out where he's hiding. Let's do that. Welcome to Lobster Town. It's Welcome. It's been a while since I last enjoyed the smell of the fish market here. <laughs> it's pretty awful. Oh, come on, I mean, don't be like that. You can smell it in the whole area, hence the name Lobster Town. Makes Crossing sense. Seeing on the market is another level of olfactory overload. <laughs> Keeps the rent low, at least. There are lots of market stands, mostly fish, obviously. But there's also someone selling their handmade pottery, another stand with spices, and one booth selling cheap and probably unsafe body enhancements. Gorski must be here somewhere. We should have a look around. Alright. We should have a look around and stand, uh, inspect the fish stand. Despite its name, there aren't any lobsters sold here. Because they're extinct. And the few poor and deformed fish that are left is what you can buy here. It's just a matter of time until they are gone too. Honestly, I can't imagine anyone who wants to eat these mutated fish. Desperate times, desperate measures, I guess. Sorry, I just thought that, uh, saw that I cast a shadow right here, so I'm curious if I will be able to key that one out. A wide selection of primarily oriental spices. The smell is strong enough to cover the fish smell, at least a little. There's cinnamon, black pepper, nutmeg, cardamom, cumin, and... What's this? Uh, that's saffron, madam. Oh, this is how fresh saffron looks like? Interesting. What was that dish with saffron we cooked that one time, Bear? Makluba. Oh boy, I want that now. Me too. It looks amazing. The enhancements then, now it's getting interesting. So, ends I see. Got any good stuff? Good stuff, yeah? All of them enhancements, incredible quality. Want a battle arm? Got it. Want night vision? Got it. Not sure if you can afford him though, sweetheart. Ah, let me worry about that. If I'd buy one, where would the operation be done? Around the corner, basement of the Yoyokami. Owner's a friend of mine. Clean space, clean tools, promise. Even have a 10 days money back guarantee. If I survive the infection after the poorly performed surgery, you mean? <laughs> ah, I say, only had two customers killed so far. I mean, I mean, uh, well, shit. It, it's better now, I promise. Thanks, uh -huh. I pass. Good day, sir. I pass. Thank you so much. Alright. Well, what are ends? I guess enhancements. Ends? Enhancements. Cybernetic upgrades that people like to treat themselves with for all sorts of purposes. Heat vision, underskin armor, blade arms, brain jacks, and lots and lots of manliness upgrades. Okay, move two. Where to go? Well, we can. Where are we? Where's where's she? Oh, we're the white dot, right? We can only go to the square, I guess. Do we have any disguises? Let's browse. Connect the app. Oh, okay, yeah, no. They won't help us here, I guess. 
I guess. So we're done inspecting. That means we... Yeah, we move to the square, I guess. That's all we can do for now. This is Rascala Square. Plenty of apartments around, but the giant Freya Hotel building in front of me takes the spotlight. Big and bright, closely contested by the giant hologram lady at the center of the square. The popular Yoi Okami Club is northwest from here. Nice place. I've been there once or twice. Ugh, squares. Crowded, chaotic people, highly obnoxious advertisements, and no order whatsoever. Signs are not even aligned properly. It's... I mean... <coughs> Let's investigate. Let's investigate. Okay, that's good. So, inspect the square. square. It's not even squared. The center is occupied by the giant <laughs> holographic woman who tries to sell... beauty ends? Lips that can change color, etc. Could be fun, to be honest. They are mostly cube-shaped, stacked on each other. Their fronts are peppered with neon signs and cables. If the horrible layout wouldn't give people seizures, all these lights will. There's a reason <laughs> that ad-blocking ends are selling so incredibly well on the streets. Imagine all these ads gone with a gesture. Oh, right, you're not seeing them anyways. Look you. I don't! A wild mix of humans and Novi. Ironically, most humans look more like Novi than the Novi themselves, with all their enhancements and all. It's what we call the Great Convergence. Novi become more human, humans more cyborg. In a few decades, there won't be any separation between humans and Novi anymore. Many humans are running multiple ends in New Berlin. It's very common here and cheaper than in most cities. A lot of people travel long distances to get their ends done here. Okay. Move to! Do I want to go to the club immediately? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think I want to go to LA2 because then we can deploy Muffin and hack into the network. Big fan of that. Really big fan of that. An alley with some entries to underground bars. A good rule. Avoid underground bars. I don't know what it is, but they attract the worst kind of people. Count. At least in New Berlin. Don't be like Despite that. The dirt and junk. The colorful flags and dim ad lights make the street look a little nicer. I I don't believe you. Really not. I think these bars live from hearsay, because none of them have any signs or names. Some of them even require a passphrase to enter. The entry hatches are decorated with all kinds of graffiti. I'm not sure if Flags covers it. They're more like colorful rags, hanging from the walls, but also from strings above us. It doesn't look half bad. All right, let's deploy muffin. Woohoo! Network access. So that's really good. Let's start with that one. So what do we have here? Mlem project M L E M. Lem 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 lem. That's not helpful. Like, not at all. Okay, back to muffin. Back to this one. Apps mail. Lolly loot to the stars. Can you imagine leaving the earth? Your job. I A S A application. It's not helpful either. Was that it with the network points here? Like, really? Let's return Muffin. And then we can move again. Let's move to Vanilla. Let's check out the club. Vengeance shop. What do you need? Guns, you say? Death, mayhem, blood? You came to the right spot. We got it all. And Sounds all. good. Got to defend yourself during the Civil War, right? No, would you? Right. I got pistols, assault rifles, grenades, or more fancy shit like crossbows. Catapult? You got a whole building to tear down? No problem. Can order it. Today's deal. Holy Buy shit. a Rock 4 laser rifle and get a 10% voucher for a Hawkeye and at Ruby's. Deal? That's a deal. No. Thanks, but no thanks. Bye. 
every weapon imaginable. Firearms, crossbows, even swords. Who fights with swords? Swords, you say? Do they against Claymore's swords? The price of two and a half. Want we'll shorter blades? Got high quality daggers with electroshock buttons. Better safe than sorry, I always say. That'd be 3999 Do you need a bag? I am not buying anything. <laughs> sorry for asking, but are you a novice? You seem a little buggy. Me? One of these tin cans? Don't be ridiculous, dear. I'm as much human as this Glock is a Glock. But what am I saying? This Glock is not just a Glock. <laughs> it's also a racer. Kill your husband, shave your legs with just one item. Great, right? Disclaimer, this was a joke. This store does not promote violence. Guns, guns, guns! Are you sure you are not... <laughs> Never mind. I like that, Sela. I do. The store is small, but packed to the ceiling with weapons. There's a fan in the corner that seems to be more decorative than useful. It spins very slowly. Oh, are you also talking to the voices in your head? I thought I was the only one. I thought I was the only one. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's how I started this business. They told me to stock up for the apocalypse. Can't be too prepared, am I right? What? What? Okay. What? Okay. Okay. I think I will leave now. Thank you so much for your help. So let's check out this ally. Ellie? Ellie. This alley is horrible. Look at these trash cans. They're all over the place. Is it really so hard to align them? Fine. Give me just a minute. Raven, mission. Yes. <sighs> mission. Right. No side tracking. Let's see. Why are we here again? Right. The alley. There's not much. Hold on. Yes, so then. right here to the air shaft system. This will most likely lead us right into the Freya Hotel. Want to give it a try? Sure. I really want to... Okay, do you... You know what, before we go to the elevator, we I want to check out the disco, whatever this one is. Yoyo Kami. The Yoyo Kami. Popular and well known. Considering the neighborhood, this is almost upper class. At daytime, it's a cafe, but at night, it's a club. The interior has excellent symmetry and is made from quality wood. There's the smell of freshly ground coffee in the air. They have renovated. Last time I was here, it wasn't this posh. Oh, hey, Annalina, is that you? Uh,. No, sorry. You're confusing me with someone. Wow, you look exactly like a friend of mine. Sorry, <laughs> have a nice day. That is really helpful. Well, this happens when you wear random faces. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're not you right now? I'm never me in public. That makes I'm sense. I my identity as much as I can. When I'm not in disguise, my suit defaults to a random face so I can't be recognized. Sometimes it happens that people think they know me. So sometimes you're a celebrity, and that works out. Sometimes you're a celebrity. No, no. The faces it draws from are confirmed low-profile personas with unmemorable facial features. But I did disguise myself as a movie star on one mission. I had to spy on a big investor and snuck into a movie release party. It was a big deal with all sorts of stars there. I posed as one who was actually out sick. It was horrible. They couldn't stop making jokes. I had Rabbit giving me humor assistance over Kong. At least he and Bear had a good time. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think we'll find Gorski in here. It's cozy. Lots of lights and wood. There's a golden wolf sculpture in the ceiling, which wasn't here last time I visited. There's smooth jazz playing in the background. There are scrolls of Japanese calligraphy on the walls, and the tables are decorated with fake cherry tree twigs. Hungry, are we? The soup du jour is sweet potato and lime soup. Then we have filet mignon, yada yada, Caesar salad, beef stew, yada yada. Oh, Kaiser Schmarrn. Kaiser Schmarrn. I love Kaiser Schmarrn. Come on, I get it. You guys know what it is? It's an Austrian specialty. Like, it's a sweet dish, but sometimes people order it as a main dish. 
but man, let's see how she explains. It's a dessert. Shredded pancakes with raisins, basically. Basically. Yeah, that's that's a really good explanation, to be honest. Mixed bunch, mostly enjoying beverages. Someone is wearing an impressive synthetic purple pelt. Two guys with Japanese-looking masks and another lady with... A pet boar? Must be a machine. I hope. Why? I would love to have one. Alright. Let's move back to the alley. Deploy Muffin, go into the vent, hack the shit out of everything, and then move on. That's my master plan. Just come up with it. At the top of my head. Alright. Muffin. Deploy. Air shaft. Enter. New sensor available button here. Ah, okay. Alright, so while there's no wall ahead, you go forward. And if there is no wall on the right, you turn right and... Shit, I need this again. If there's no wall on the left, you turn left. And then, oh, I just have to do it like this. I'm so, I'm stupid. And then, if button here, press button. That should work. I really hope so. Looks good. I could have, the wall left was not possible <laughs> because it's only going that way anyway. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Wait, what? He pressed the button. Oh, do I need to get back? Okay. I don't care. Then you turn left and you turn left again. And then, okay, but then we have to, okay, then the walls on the left. So if no wall left, left. Now he goes back and goes back out again. At least I think he has to go back out again. Yes, okay, he has to. All right, got it, got it. Nice. Oh, okay. That's stupid. We used the same entrance as exit. Why? I don't really get it. Sorry. Muff. Network. Access. And then we have Krisha phone. So let's check the PC out first. Apps. Mail. Vito large group next week. Keys. Ramesh Krisha security officer. So I know how often it happened and I'm sorry about it. But hey, it was just three times this month in comparison to the seven times before that I would call that improvement. <laughs> Great. So Krisha Ramesh is the security officer. That's really really good to know. Hey, I know, sorry in advance, yes, I do forget my keys a lot, and it happened again. They're on floor 3, sorry, can you fetch them? I will go pick them up tomorrow, thank you. Wait, I think I left my phone too, great. And calls or clean up. The guest in room 109 puked in front of his door again. Can you go clean it up please? I will let administration know that he's harassing other guests too. Security Officer Martin Kelso. Right. So Ramesh Freya lost shit. And now we can check the phone then as well. Bookings. Whittaker. Ah, okay. We get a lot of names in here, which is awesome. But the thing is, we are missing. Gorski, long term, there he is. Sweet 10. What we're missing is how they look. So we can't really shapeshift into them. 
That's the main problem right now. So let's check out this phone. Vacation time! Woo! Holy crap, that's amazing! I heard Singapore is amazing. How could you afford that though? Didn't you say that your pay was too low for fancy trips? How will you pay for that? But yeah, of course I can take care of your little fussball. No worries. It's long overdue that she visits my place. Hotel stories, tally hotel stories. Hey, 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 what's up? Can we order Korean? Okay, that's not really interesting. How is Freya still standing? It's falling apart and there are barely guests. Hey, Kelso, my man. Who's this? Ramesh, I know what you're doing, you thief. No idea what you're talking about, you asshole. I know you have been stopped stealing liquor from the bar, and not only once. Do you have proof? Oh, I do, my friend, I do. And I want money or I'll get you fired. What the hell is wrong with you? What are you doing? This over the phone, you fucking imbecile. <laughs> Meet me in the office. Now. Okay, what was so interesting about this now? Okay. Do we have... Unfortunately, that's it. We cannot enter more in here. So let's return Muffin, we learned a lot of new faces. And now we can move to Freya. Ah, well, well welcome to the Freya Hotel Comfort Residence. My name is Brett Brabraska. How may I help you? Is everything alright? Oh, you mean this? Nothing to worry about. My language unit is a little faulty. Are, are, are you looking for accommodations? We have nice suites on the upper floors. Wow, did you just teleport? Technically, no. You need, you need, you need matter to teleport. I'm just a ho 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 hologram. So, accommodations? Or do you have a re 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 reservation? Could you please... Stay in one spot. You're making me nervous. No, sorry. I'm looking to meet a friend. Adrian Gorski, does he still have the same room number? Apologies. I'm not allowed to give out information about our guests. So he does live here. I... Uh, you... This... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you gotcha. Lemonade, ma'am? No, thank you. I've got what I want. He's here. Now we need to find out on which floor and which apartment. We know that. Nicely done, what's next? We saw a computer through the glass door in the room west of us. Maybe we can find a way to access it. There might be information about guests on it. We'll most likely find a lot of data here. Got that we already. Go through collected data with system.apps.intelligence. Yeah. Oh shit, okay. There's a lot to check out. A very rundown place. There were rumors the owners of the hotel were sheltering some of the Shangxing gang members. I don't think there ever was proof, but guests don't care about that. One rumor, and it might be over. A hall with several seatings, a broken fountain is rusting in the center of the room. There are 12 little devices on the ceiling, most likely for projecting the hologram. Additionally, there are plenty of holographic ads for events they are apparently doing here. VR Thursday. Talk to your favorite dead person. Whiskey chess. Digital Russian roulette. Is this how civilians spend their free time? Apparently. She's standing behind the desk. I expect her to be around 30 years old. Well, she's a hologram of a 30 year old woman. Red hair with purple streaks, roughly 169 centimeters tall. I didn't see it at first, but sometimes you can see her glitch, which gives the hologram away. Apart from that, she looks pretty believable. That's a lovely desk and you're doing an exceptional job. Ah, thank you. Sorry, my blush mode is currently not, not, not working. This is the office of the security staff. There's a sign beside it. Security Officer Martin Kelso. Security Officer Krisha Ramesh. I sense a disguise opportunity. Don't forget that you can always review collected data about people in your intelligence app. Access it with system.apps.intelligence. 
Yes, we know. The elevator to the rooms with an installed face scanner. Right, so let's go back to the reception. Me again. Really like the woodwork. Just want to look at it once more. And compliment it. I promise I'll drop the subject after this. Oh, it, yes. <laughs> it's, it's very well crafted, uh, I think. I have no idea about carpentry, but I could load an update. It's fine. Okay, what I want to do now, I want to deploy Muffin right here. Right, because now we can access that one. Files, audio. Hi, can I book a room for the 23rd? Please call me back. Thanks. Uh, I'd, I'd like to order things up to my room. 211. A coffee, black. Two muffins, a bratwurst with mustard. Uh, do, do you have cereal? Uh, with milk, please. Your soup du jour? Uh, whichever it is today. A pretzel, but remove the salt, please. A glass of orange juice, pineapple, sliced. Not too big, please. And uh, uh, um, a couple of pancakes with maple syrup. Honey, you want? What was that? Nothing? Okay, that's it. Please be quick, thanks. That was weird, but I want a bratwurst now. Hey, it's big Trisha. Freya's favorite security officer. Can you be a sweetheart and tell the guest for a week that we're going to grant his refund? It's only for thanks. Nice. It's your whoop. Hey, Nobi. Why aren't you answering your phone? Can you pick me up? Professor Butterscotch needs to go to the vet. She's not feeling well. Hello, Henry. Professor Butterscotch. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that was awesome. Hi, uh, we'll check in later. Booking number 220EF. See ya. If I have ever a pet, like a dog or something, I will call him Professor Butterscotch. I love that. Okay, that was it. So, Muffin, return. And then, we check our... Disguises. No, wait, that was not it. System, apps, intelligence. So. Martin Kelso, security officer, is stealing liquor from the Freya bar. Krisha Ramez, we have a voice print. Often forgets keys in the hotel. Type AB positive, male gender. Okay, oh, that's so. Okay. Um, Adrian Gorski, apartment number 10. Okay, I think we have to go as Krisha Ramesh. I really hope he's in. Or she? Is it a he or a she? I'm not sure. Okay. So, Raven disguises. Create. Around you. As name Krisha. Uh, at that. Okay, and then we load it. Okay, we just changed appearance in front of the receptionist, but she didn't care, so that should be fine. So now I'm really curious because there's someone in there. I hope it's not the same person. Oh. Freyo to the security office, Kelso speaking. Right, right, yes. No, I took care of that yesterday. Yeah, good day, boy. Fucking idiot. Security only, leave. Good day, sir. Okay, so he's in there. I don't like that. So we need a new one. I can't go as as him because like Kelso isn't there. What was? 
I thought... Wait a second. Krusha Ramesh, security officer. Are you serious? But I checked out everything I got. Oh, I have for... Shit, from Krusha Ramesh I only have... I don't have a picture. I only have the voice print. Shit, okay, I would need more. Because the elevator will not let me. Well, no. It has a facial recognition scanner. Alright, maybe I can hack it somehow. Maybe I get the facial print out of there. Muffin deploy network. Ah, look at that. Guest scanner. Face prints. Yes. That's awesome. Alright, that's how it works. Good. So, disguises. <laughs> oh, that wasn't planned. So, wait a second. Can I delete? Oh, yeah, remove. Yes. As well. Kelso as well. Okay, now I will create new ones for Krisha. So, voice print and the face file. And I will create one for Martin Kelso. Face file. So, where do I have the facial print as well? Let me check. Genshin. I have no idea who this is. And Ramirez. And Talente. Okay, I don't know just yet where I need them, but we have them. It's good. So, now we can go to the security. Oh, let me... Hey, Calso. Return Ramesh. more later. What the fuck do you want? Not let you enter this office, you piece of shit. Oh boy. Uh, you forgot your keys again and he's stealing liquor from the bottle. Should we? He's really pissed already. Let's go with I that. I forgot my keys again. Sorry, I'll just get them. Beat it. Come back when it's your shift. And if you say one more word, I'll throw you out personally. That didn't work. Oh, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. I'm stupid. Come on, I really need to get in there. Hey, Kelso. Ramesh, what the fuck do you want? Yeah, okay, so he's still in liquor. I that you will. Or should I tell everybody about that little liquor love of yours? I wonder what would happen if Freya knew their security officer was stealing from their own bar. You bitch. I paid you to shut up. We're even, okay? Okay, sure. I'll just call the boss then. Wait, stop. Alright. Go in. You win. Nice. Alright, Alex, I'm in. And close the door. We should have some semi-privacy, but let's not overstay our welcome and find what we can. Sounds good. So, let's check that. Application, application, application. I'm trying something new. Okay, nothing happened. Then camera feed. 
Shit, I don't have camera anymore. Files, audio. Counselor, security log 16. Room 102 door was missing. No sign of the guest. Still looking for both of them. Counselor, security log 25. Guest tried to enter the staff rooms multiple times. Tasered him on the 9th. Counselor, security log 34. Two guests going at it in the pool. Tasered the water. Holy shit. Calso security lock 61. Board says I taser too many guests. <laughs> away. Pepper spray it is. Oh shit, dude. Hey, Calso, my man. Ah, okay, that's that one. Sorry to bother you. I really hate doing this, but can you lend me money? Okay. Shit, I really need a camera ID for that. Oh, 109? No. Oh wait, 10. S10? Shit. So let's deploy Muffin right here. And see if he can do anything different. Not really. Okay. The annoying thing is really I don't have any camera ID. I really don't know. So wait, let me, I have to, I have to check. My intelligence again. Apartment number, the face file. Shit. Okay, maybe I need to go to the elevator first. Okay. Okay. I need someone else. Looks like I need to create the disguise of a guest. I had this face print, right? Yes. Alright. So, let's try that again. So, we are in floor zero, I guess. Lots of rooms, very nice symmetry. I almost don't mind the dirty walls and the carpet, which clearly has seen better days. <laughs> okay. There are cameras here, so please don't drop my disguise, all right? Maybe we can find footage of Gorski on those, if we're on the right floor, that is. I really hope so. So, let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Face mismatch. Face mismatch. Come on. Right. Face mismatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't leave me alone. So, Muffin. Security camera, let's see. Camera ID. Got the camera ID. I need to write that down real quick. So I won't forget. Alright, camera ID, first floor. So 
that's C A D A zero five. Good. Very good. All right. Then I want to move to S zero one because I think we can hack into that computer over there. At least I really hope so, and that's the plan. <laughs> yeah, I don't care to be honest. Oh, muffin, boy, network, access, shit. Can I switch disguises in here? Ramesh, special entry permission for this room is not available. Okay. Let's see. Face mismatch. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Alright. Then let's get back to the other disguise again. And let's go to the elevator again. Alright, and then we can check all the faces. In the other file. Alright. So, Muffin, your time to shine again. So, second floor. Second floor is CIDB. CIDB 1 to 4. It's good. And now we. I saw an air shaft. So we go there. So let's go to 206. That's awesome. Thank you. Muffin, return. Then we say muffin deploy. Air shaft. Okay. So what we're going to do. While there is no wall ahead. We go forward. So. And then if there's no wall on your right. You turn right and then you go forward. Perfect. And then we say if there's a button here, you press the button. And then we say uh, wait, we need more. We turn right and then we turn right again. So that should work. Let's see if I thought correctly or if I have to adjust a little bit. So you go back, right, perfect. Alright, that's awesome. Turn right and that's it. Nice. Network access. Bull mole creepy report. Something's going on. We had a patient dying on us today in the ER. We managed to reanimate him, get him stable. He committed suicide late. The same thing happened with another patient a week later. Holy shit. That was it. For that shit, I did that thing now or what? For that one notification? Okay, that's a little bit weird, but all right. Um, let's get back to the elevator. We still have three more floors. What? Oh shit! Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm there. Okay, it's fine. S O five. S O five. Face 
Yeah, I don't give a shit. Ah fuck, I didn't check the camera ID. Air chef, enter. Oh boy. Okay, so the thing is while there's no wall ahead. You go for Wait a second, if you're facing down and if there's no wall on the right, you turn right. Is that it? Yeah, that's it, okay. Finally, holy shit. Okay, that took way too long. Let's check out the phone. Recon mission. Alright, what the utility? Message in a bottle. I want to read it. There it is. Something is consuming them, something we can't even see. I swear, I can hear whispers whenever I get close to them. Whispers of those who are already dead. I have to go back, I have to save. Okay. So. Muffin return. Okay. So, wait a second. We move to 304 because we still have to get the camera ID. We don't have that one yet. Face yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Muffin, you return, and then we go to the elevator. Up to level 4. Alright, let's do the camera thing immediately. So, is there anything else right here? Doesn't really look like it. Okay, let's go straight back to the elevator. <laughs> Level 5. Okay. Again. Network. Security camera. Files, documents, software, CID E930. Alright. Okay, there's a lot in here. S10. That's the one where Gorski is in. We know that. Face is hatched. I am sorry, you are not authorized to enter this suite. I know, thanks. Inspect face scan. Face is Sorry, you are not yeah. to enter this I get it. Okay, I think we need to get his face from the elevator, uh, from the elevator cam. But let me see if I can get Muffin here. We already see the shadows there. Yeah, nope. No chance. That means we go back to the elevator. Back down to the lobby. Access zero. Alright, so Raven disguises load reload Trisha. And then we go to the security office again. Hey Kelso. Hey Kelso. Hey, how's that? 
Come on, don't be like that, dude. Camera feed. You know what, I want to... Let's check all of them. Okay, I did not need to write all of them. Alright. Empty corridor for the next minutes. Hours. Someone is leaving their room. Irrelevant. A man is returning to his room. Wow, alright, that's a lot of vomit coming out of him. Lovely. <laughs> Barely makes it into his room. Someone doesn't know their limits. More empty corridors. The first floor doesn't seem to be too popular. End of tape. No Gorski. Alright, let's see what we've got. Two people are arguing. Not Gorski. One lands a punch. Ouch. Full knockout. The guy is stealing his wallet. Cleaning Novi doing their thing. Nothing out of the ordinary. Quiet. Some people leaving or returning. No Gorski among them. Okay, floor three. Fast forwarding. Fast forwarding. Fast forwarding. Is there nobody on this floor? A woman is returning to her room. Ah, with a date. Looks like a hooker. Not Gorski, though. Fast forwarding. Interesting. Oh, wait. No. Not interesting. I thought someone was going to try to pick a lock, but he was just tying his shoes. <laughs> his tape okay. us with nothing. Let's see. People leaving, people coming, but no Gorski. We know that he's in the summer. upper floor. Pretty heated and it's going on for, wow, almost two hours. Why is he not doing it in his room? Because he's sharing it, most likely. He left. Nobody there. It's probably night now. Wait, there's Gorski! Or, wait, no, that's not him. Sorry. Boss alarm. Are you blind and or what? end of the tape. No luck. Good thing, okay. Now on to the last one. There's nobody... Wait, there he is. That's Gorski. A clear shot on his face. We have footage of his features. Now we need to figure out how to get a 3D recreation of that. Did somebody say 3D recreation? Oh, Maybe. Lord. Not you again. Oh, Maida! Sorry for the inconvenience. Sorry for the inconvenience. 3D models from video footage. You... Are amazing, Meta. Why, thank you. I read that it's easier to make friends when you have, I quote, mad skills. <laughs> yes, with a Z. That's also. I will create the 3D file for you if I can accompany you. Then we'll be together forever. Well, until you die at least. It is going to be fun, I promise. Until you die at least. No chance. I have never disagreed with anything. <laughs> We don't have a life. chance, Raven. Just Please. do it. Sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> Absolutely not. I've already got an AI stuck with me. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. That was not nice. <laughs> Please, can we keep her? No. This is Come not on. a pet store. <laughs> it is for me. Take my artificial word for it. When I, I love this AI. Chances of success without me are... 0.0034% wrapped it up using optimism. <laughs> also, creating 3D files from a video with regular methods will take several hours. Can you afford that? Besides, I've been told I'm delightful. Or was it frightful? I can't remember. Oh boy. <sighs> Fine. Fine. I give up. Hop on. <laughs> I don't care, but give me that face file. Gorski face print generated. Here you go, fam. Travel team. Yay us. Travel team. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. Seriously. <laughs> I think that AI is so much fun. So create the Gorski file. Adrian Gorski. As Adrian Gorski. Face file, and then we load him. Awesome! Elevator, let me in, please. Pretty, please. There was one. There was one floor where I could not get into a computer. It was that one, right? I don't really know how to 
get into there. It's a little bit weird. Face mismatch. Wait a second. I have. Cutso. <laughs> He is on duty today, so I think. I'm sorry, Mr. Yo, yeah, you. Yeah. All good. All good. Face oh come on. Okay, leave me alone. I don't know how to get to it. I would really love to hack it. I mean, I have two other. I have two more, right? Let me try that. I really want to get into that room. Let me check real quick. I have more. Oh, oh shit. Okay, no, I, I really don't know. Unfortunately, I would have loved to go in there, but I don't know which one I need to use. And the system doesn't really show me anymore which ones are the important ones. So unfortunately, whatever's on this computer needs to remain a secret. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, but it doesn't help now. So four, five, and then we move to S10. Welcome! Finally, what an odyssey. Adrian Gorski, are you here? I don't mean any harm. I just want to ask you a few questions. Shouldn't you drop the disguise? I don't see anybody on the map. Let's have. Shouldn't you drop the disguise? Not until I know Gorski is here. Okay. Alright, assessment. This is the living room of the suite. Black leather couches, white and blue ambient lights. There's. Oh, oh god remains of Chinese food on the table, almost entirely consumed by mold. Have you been absent for a while, Gorski? There's a Seems like it. Three screens and some sort of equipment and cables beside it. Looks like someone was engineering a device. There's also some notebooks and sheets all over the place. On the floor, too. Either the wind blew through here or something happened. Somehow, I have a terrible feeling. I get that. There's a hidden room behind the living room wall. Yeah, there is. Let's inspect first. These are project diaries. He was working on... Wait, no. They were working on something. Two of them. The project has been going on since 2105. I can't really tell what it was about. They used coded language. But it was called Project Pygmalion. The notes suddenly stop. It's ending with the words, traitor, 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 fuck him. Well then. Well then. A very powerful computer. A beast, really. There's no keyboard or mouse. I think it's gesture controlled, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. I can't get it to respond. These cables are high end, very fast data transfer, and these, these look like artificial eyes. Were they developing their own ends? Two paper boxes from a restaurant called The East Wind, containing noodles or ugh, maggots. Judging by the amount of mold, the room temperature, and humidity, this food is 16 days old. She's so helpful. Still edible. Go ahead. The question is, did they forget it? Or were forced to leave the apartment? Too invested in work to notice? I can't imagine that. Alright, can you... Yeah, let's check the PC. First. Apps mail. Hey Schmidt, you're back. So, my name is Samira Erden and I'm Mrs. Staufen's attorney and writing on her behalf. Please refrain from contacting my client again. A restraining order has been issued and will find you in writing soon. Please don't make this harder on yourself. She is no longer your wife. You have to accept it. SIL hardware, Shadow No Way. Wait, so you guys really pulled it off? You finished Project 
Pygmalion. Holy crap. Okay, that's interesting. Let's check the files. It's still very, very awkward. Need to work on language a lot. No, no shit. Weird. I upset him multiple times. I have to work on that. He talked about the meaning of life and death. Very inspiring. What is this shit about? He needed to think. Oh, conversation report. Okay, he just wrote like a few bullet points. What happened? Okay, what, what was that with Adrian? He mispronounced my name as. Ah, okay. Arian. <laughs> He was working on an AI, at least it looks like it. That... We have that already, I guess. But okay. That was that. Okay. So... Let's move to the boss. A walk-in closet with very rudimentary clothing, an inactive cleaning robot, and two duffel bags. Not much else. Oh, sorting amateurs. Yes, I know, Alex. I should not sort this mess and focus on the mission. Exactly. I didn't say anything. You were thinking it. <laughs> yes, I'll I was. Let's investigate. <laughs> uh, is there anything in there? Three pants, two button up shirts, six t shirts, and one sweater. There's a pair of boots on the ground. Everything is wildly mixed and not hung up according to any logical system. <laughs> Most of them are from Rodrigo Rosero, an expensive brand. Not surprising for an Orient's doctor, I'd say. First one is mostly empty. It contains an electric shaver, a couple of tables, a letter. I can't wait to be part of your project. I've packed my things and will visit you soon. My, my, I feel so classy writing a letter on paper. Being secretive like this is rather intriguing. Your wife, Agatha. Part of his project? Was she working with him? Interesting. The Interesting. Second bag is heavy. Oh, it's full of money. Quick count. Roughly 670,000 euros. Why so much cash? Was he trying to get away? Looks shady to me. We're obviously confiscating. <laughs> we're obviously confiscating it. No, we're not. We're not the police, and we're definitely not thieves. Besides, you're an AI. You can't even do anything with cash. I to hope not conclude, forever. That's all this bag had to offer. Come on. It's a tidy 6100 cleaning drone. Sometimes tidy. Like a spider. They're pretty old-fashioned. Come on, Nowadays, that's Android's like Ikea naming. Humanoid machines seem to be more accepted by civilians. This one doesn't look like it's been used in a while. Shame. We've taken care of that disgusting food. It would have. Alright, so. Oh, nope. I wanted to tell her finally that there's a room. A hidden room in a hotel suite? How unusual. Must be this wall then? Is this switch or something? Not as far as I can tell. Let me inspect the wall. Where are you? Ah. ah, there it is. This must be a door. Well hidden. I can't see any mechanism to open the door, so... Oh, what's this? I think this small thing right here concealed in the painting, that's a camera. A face scanner, if I'm not mistaken. Two of them, actually. One in each painting. Can you try to get the scanners to activate? Sure. No problem. Boy Muffin? Okay, wait, you have to move to the closet again, please. Go to the living room first, and then you move to the closet, and then we can get our dear muffin back. And then we can deploy muffin, and then we can access the network. Go a lab. Face scan number one. Okay, that's not helpful. In position. What? 
Okay. Let's see if it's the second one for him. Probably. Okay. Oh. What? Why? You know what, let's check out the bed. A king size bed with 16 pillows on top of it. What's the purpose of having more than one? Well, not important. Was he staying here with Agatha? So maybe they really both were in on this. Whatever it is. There are four photos on the shelves, and some books on the floor. In the other corner, there's a suitcase. Photos of Gorski and Agatha. Several. The pictures are from different years, so it's hard to judge how old she might be now. They seem happy. This one shows them on the Great Wall of China. The second one depicts both at a skiing resort. And in this one, they're dressed in black tie and gown, labeled. Married 25 years. Adrian and Agatha forever. Ugh. Corny. New it for found. Name of wife, name of husband. You know what? I think it's cute. A five-year-old's doodle is cuter than this. That was a joke. This goes right into your joke book. There's a raven joke book. Indeed. I'm writing down all the jokes she's ever made. So far we have... Three. <laughs> I think so. Master of pointless activities. <laughs> we can't all have sorting things as a hobby. Anyways, as oh, I was saying, that one was good. <laughs> oh wow, she's holding a Nobel Prize in the last photo. Impressive. It's a sturdy and big suitcase. Let me open it. All sorts of magazines, some papers, an arrest warrant. Several attorney letters here are here as well. Let me see. Gorski was on trial for murder in 2110, but was freed of the charge later. Orion seems to attract a very special kind of people. Why is he keeping it, though? Pride, perhaps? But proud of what? The murderer or the innocents? You might have read something about him on Mars. Do you think he's a murderer? After Orion's... yeah, let's not jump to conclusions. Let's not jump to conclusions right. yet. Let's see what else we can find. Yes. So... I'm in the bedroom. But I'm too far. I want to try if I can deploy Muffin. To... Enter the other computer. So return Muffin here? Ah no, that doesn't... So, Raven, can you go into the other corner right there? Photos of Gorski and Agatha. Ghost yes. of the Machine by Tessa Cortez. E fix. That's Morale in times perfect. of electrical beings by Zoya Inution. So, that's where I wanted to be. So, Muffin deploy. Alright, now let's check because. I can't enter... I can't enter the face cam doors with his actual face print that we have right now. Let's see if we can find more. Evaporation protocol, still no sign, Agatha Cough. Files, documents... Okay. Security. Face prints. FF Marco. Okay, so let's create a new disguise. Around, I don't know who. Who's Marco? 
Oh, I think Oski is in the bathroom. I'll check. Hey, Gorski. Open the door. I just want to ask a few questions. Gorski? The Phantom Blake got him. I'm coming in. Here we go. Stand back. Ha! Oh. Curses. You were right. He's lying dead in the bathtub. Damn it. We're too late. He's got his phone on him. Oh, it's still recording for 43 hours. Let me stop it so we can listen to it. It's going to get me. It's going to get me soon. I can hear the whispers and voices. I didn't want any of this. I swear, I tried to stop for so and Colburn. They wouldn't listen. We should have never done this experiment. Listen to me. The Phantom Plague. It's sentient. It selects. It moves through it. It only seems to take sick or bad people. Evil people like me. I, 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 I'm so sorry, Marco. I'm sorry. I killed you. Oh, shit. Duke, if you ever hear this, I'm thankful for you. For the time we had. I hope you will live a wonderful life. Please remember me. Alex. Oh boy. That's a lot to process. He said Alex. Why did he say Alex? I don't know. I've never met him. The victims do that. That's all I know. I know. I must know of you somehow. There might be another Alex, but I don't believe it's a coincidence. You seem to be entangled in everything. I don't know why. The Orans knew more about you than you think. They did spy on Zoya, and she was in contact with you. That might be. Let's hold that thought until we know more. Are we not talking about that sentient part? I recommend being scared by that. Luckily, fear is not part of my emotional library, which came as a surprise to these three street thugs that I... Oh, I'm going off topic again. Shit. <laughs> This confirms Max's reports of communicating shadows. Speaking of which, are you seeing or hearing any shadows? I see them on no, the screen. None. It's quiet. I know that it aligns with your mission report, but I find it hard to believe. All we have is hearsay. Yes, I know, I know we can't hallucinate, but they can be faulty. I know. I have the same feeling, even though I've witnessed it. It just didn't feel real. I think we can agree that it's more than just sickness or condition. We just have to find out what exactly. Then let's see what else we can find here. Yes, now we finally can create the other disguise and go into the lab. Can I just like move into the lab now? <laughs> that was too easy. Okay, so Raven. Disguise, create. Oh. S Marco Face file Low Marco So then you move to the closet again And we Return Finn Place him right there You go back to the living room to be ready. So, Muffin. Hold on. I said Muffin. Network access. Lab face scan one. Please let this work now. Please do so. In position. Yes. In position. So disguise, load, Adrian Gorski. Yes. Right. Ah, okay. And there is indeed a secret lab behind the store. I don't understand why you would do this in a hotel room. 
There's no way he could have built this without Freya knowing about it. Maybe they bribed the hotel. What if Orion's owns this place? Nobody would expect it. Nobody would expect it. What if Orion's owns this place? You know what? Let's go with this. That could actually be. The ownership of this place changed a few years ago, bought by Kita and Gakash Enterprises. I haven't looked much deeper into it, but it might be a sub company of Orion's. Worth checking out at HQ. Listen, I found something. Now, turns out Kida and Kakash Enterprises is being owned by Orion's. This hotel is Orion's property. And Gorski is an Orion's employee. So this was all an Orion's operation? That makes even less sense. Why not use a proper facility? Not everyone knows everything in a big company such as Orion's. Maybe someone wanted to keep it hidden from superiors. Well, there's no use to speculate right now. Let's see what this lab has to offer. A robotics lab by the looks of it. Lots of cybernetic limbs. Some arms, legs, even a skull. I'm no expert, but this looks like advanced technology. I've never seen so many expression scales on a novice's face. And this... Is this an artificial brain? Impressive design. It almost looks real. And here are several notes and reports and... Project Pygmalion. Project Summary. The creation of a functional Unit Zero. But well, we knew Orion's was developing Unit Zero. We saw the funding document at the satellite facility. But now we know that Gorski was the one tasked with the job. That's odd. Why Gorski? He's a medical doctor. What's he got to do with developing a machine? Hmm. Wait. Oh! There seems to be a deceased person in the corner. How did I miss that? <laughs> ah! You're alive. Who are you? Why are you chained to the heater? Please. Gorski. Walter. Here, drink, and then explain. Oh. 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 Much better. Did I punch your brains out? It's me, Hamza. Ah. <laughs> the better question is what happened to you? I heard you screaming two days ago and then nothing. Two days ago, man. I thought you were dead. So, what happens now? I know him, you can drop your disguise. He was Sawyer's best friend, he was on Ryan's station. He was Sawyer's best friend, I think. I Actually, I can't remember. I'm a friend of Zoya's. Tell me what happened here. Whoa, that's so cool. You have some kind of chameleon suit or something. How does it work? Can I get one of these somewhere? Hey, Hamza, I'm very close to knocking you out to stop your blathering. So please start being useful and tell me what you know. Oh, uh, no disrespect, sister, but I don't know you. With that suit, you could be anyone. Why should I trust you? Come on, let me talk to him. Fine, have at it. Saves me a headache. Here, I'm putting the text output on hologram. Hello, Hamza. Hi. How's it going? Remember me? I'm Soya's little helper. Soya's helper? Nash, you, you made it? I heard you died. Man, I'm glad that's not true. Good to see a familiar face again. Uh, familiar text output. <laughs> hey, how about helping me out of these cuffs, eh? Raven, can you release him? First you need to start talking. Did you break in here? If you have any affiliations with the police, uh, then no. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah. Why, do people who started this whole mess on Orion Station. But most of them already got what they deserved. Except Gorski. And uh, what did Gorski deserve, huh? Rotting somewhere in the gutter, as dead as the victims of Orion's. Won't lie to you. I came here to kill Gorski. <laughs> I didn't even have a plan. Didn't bring any weapons. Would have probably just strangled him or something. Well, yeah, right, there's literally a weapon shop next door. Well, you can see how far my wits got me. I don't claim to be a smart person. Attempted murder, then. I knew I should keep you chained up. I don't see how this could have gone wrong. Emotions can make us do stupid things, and murdering Gorski would have solved what? I don't know. Maybe a little more justice in the world. Spare me your moral talks, right? It didn't work out anyways. I wanted to kill him. For everything they did to the people on Mars. What they did to Zoya. 
I had some contacts at Orion's, and they told me where Gorsky was going. I surprised him here in... I surprised him here in this lab. The door was open. Tried to attack him, but he's quick for an old man. And strong? What about me? He knocked me out. When I woke up, uh, I was in handcuffs. No idea why a doctor has cuffs. Why didn't you go to the police? Gorski, Colburn, and Faso are all guilty of kidnapping, homicide, and God knows what else. Oh yeah? The same way the police deals with all the gangs in the city? Be honest, police doesn't care anymore. They have the civil war to worry about. And even if they did, Orion's has enough money to pay for their silence. Wouldn't have been the first time the police was bribed. No, I had to do it myself. I had to make up for what I did. It's... It's my fault. Orion's killed her, but I had a hand in it. Sonly killed Zoya. What do you mean? I did something terrible. I'm the reason Colburn was after Zoya. I installed the spy software on her computer. If I hadn't, if I had just refused, things might have gone differently. She might not have been at the satellite when the robots went crazy. It's my fault. I killed her. What? Why would you do that? She was your friend, she trusted you, the Phantom Black should have taken <laughs> She was your friend, she trusted you. I never thought they'd find something. I would have never done it otherwise. Nothing, nothing you say can excuse what you did. Bear, did you hear this? Bear? Something is blocking the signal, but I can't detect what it is. Sorry for the inconvenience. Now that Bear can't hear me, maybe I should just shoot you. Do it then. I don't care. The world is better off without me. But don't judge me when you're doing just the same. Good point. Come on, don't do it. Relax, I wasn't going to shoot him. I'm not like you, Hamza. I don't succumb to primal drives like vengeance, even though I believe you deserve to die for what you did to Zoya. She was my friend, my sister. I'm sorry. There's nothing else I can say. But if you're not shooting me, what are you going to do with me? I... I don't know. Do me a favor and shut the hell up. You stay where you are until we finish our mission, and then I'll think about what to do with you, bastard. Fair enough. Come on, Alex. Let's find what we came for. Yes. They seem to be still missing the skin layer, but what I can see here is incredible. It almost looks like actual muscle tissue, but all synthetic. It's the most realistic recreation of human body parts I've seen. There are parts of the skin that look odd and don't seem to fit with the rest of the material. Maybe sensors? The schematics beside it seem to be coming from Marco. I guess he's the one who did all the engineering since Gorsky was a doctor. But why need a doctor for a robotics project? It says something about a Proteus shell. The skull and its facial plates seem to be explicitly designed for recreating human expressions. It looks very flexible and is soft to the touch. Oh, lovely! I could try on. See how it works. Just give me a tiny second. Sorry for the inconvenience. Meta, don't you dare! Ah. So good. Like a new pair of shoes. Well, I don't have any feet, so I wouldn't know. This is highly unsettling. Get out of there. Okay. This is my unsettled face. Did it work? This. Is my face. This is my face. And this is my should we dispose of dad's body in the river mommy face? Holy shit! I really want to see I this! Like this <laughs> Can we keep it? No, and Can you're we keep me out. Dad's body? Seriously? I'm getting a lot of my data from horror movies. But okay, I'll stop. I am sad, but I won't. Make a face! <laughs> Stop it. Of course, I will face the consequences of your decision. Please kill me. <laughs>
about the Pygmalion Project, the development of Unit Zero. Huh. Unit Zero's nickname was Took. Gorski mentioned that name in his recording. He was referring to the Novus. Orions was funding this. Why all the secrecy? Why the secrets, Gorski? It's so valuable, it's so dangerous. Fear of stealing the design. Well, maybe it's too valuable. Oh, it definitely is worth a fortune. And I can see it makes sense to protect it. But Orion's has means to just build a high security facility. The budget planning was going until 2114. But these notes show me the project ended a few years ago. What? No. That can't be. They... succeeded? It says here they passed the Turing test multiple times and that... He, Took, could walk and live among people and interact with them without revealing his true nature. Shit. But every robotics and AI expert said it was impossible. How? Apparently, Unit Zero lived in New Berlin for six months as a test run without any issues. Even authorities acknowledged him as a human citizen. His whole name is Took Adan. He disappeared during that time. Gorski believed he was abducted. The tracker was removed. Interesting. That requires some skill. He blames Marco. Ah, as fortune would have it. There's the computer password scribbled on the last page of this binder. Rookie mistake. Can you check out the computer while I see if I can find anything else in these notes? The password is Patharmi. Right, what computer am I supposed to check out? I checked all of them out already, I thought. Oh, login, alright. Files, audio. Incredible. Just incredible. Unit Zero just had its first conversation with me. Mimics and gestures are still highly uncanny, but its thinking and expression is just astonishing. It was genuinely fun to discuss with it. Uh, him. I mean him. We uh, gave him the name Took. He loved it. Marco worked on the facial expressions algorithms, and it works much better now, but I don't even care about his appearance anymore. His character, Duke's character, is so fascinating. He quickly catches on and forms his own opinions. He's curious, smart, but makes mistakes, just like a human. Marco shifted his focus on the development of the Proteus shell. He thinks he can pull that off as well. I'm skeptical, but I don't care since we have achieved the impossible. An artificial human, capable of emotions, poetics, philosophical debates. This is going to be hard. We're sending two away, for now. He's to live in an apartment in the south, alone. It's a field test, so to speak. We want to see how he performs out there with actual people. I will miss him. He's become like a son to me. I've been meeting Tuke every Thursday for coffee. Marco designed him to even be able to drink and eat. He doesn't really need to, but to keep up the act, he installed a fake stomach inside him that just turns it into energy. Not much different from ours, to be honest. He seems to be happy. He told me he even has a friend in the same building named Phil. Took path the Turing test with so many people. I'm so proud of him. I miss him. It's just two more months. I can't wait that long. Took, uh, he didn't show up to our last coffee meeting. I'm worried. Marco isn't picking up his phone either. What if we disagreed on the direction of the project lately? What if. What if he abducted Took? Marco has been very suspicious lately, uh, and quiet, it's not like him, he, uh, I have to find Took, to send someone after him, and Marco too, he did something to him, god I hope Took's okay, there are people I can talk to, who can find someone, I'll ask him to track down Took and Marco, also under his stupid pseudonym, Coyote. That's helpful. Sound familiar? Yes, it does. I remember it. There was an EIU agent with the name Coyote once. Yes, 
think it's him. Actually, I do. It can't be a coincidence. Not here, not now. We know a lot of money has been moved from Orients to EIU through Helberg and Vim, and now this. An EIU agent working together with an Orients doctor on a secret project. You have to admit, it fits together. It does. It makes sense. Something is going on here. I'm sure of it. And let's not forget that someone is posing as Faso right now. Someone's posing as Faso? Do you know anything about that? Not precisely. I know that she was killed by Hamish Krager, that racist asshole. I don't see how this is helping us. When I was digging up dirt on the people, I went through his phone, heard the call. This was a hired kill. He was ordered to do it, or his parents would be killed. The name uh, was uh, Solos or Sully or... Sully? Yes, that was the name. Gregor was in contact with Sully. That's not good. Well, hold on. That means Sully is in control of Orions. And Orions is working with the EIU. Two vanishing. Unit Zero. It's in the EIU's possession. Yes. Who's Don't that? Who are you? How the hell did you get in here? Your husband has met other shells, I believe. These two are called Acheron and Lathi. Did you know that the EIU is behind in face jump technology? The Japanese army has the lead right now. Now, why don't you tell us where Unit Zero is? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Step back or I'll shoot. You're too slow. Hey, oh shit! That would be an excellent title. Tell me what you know, or this human dies. Or maybe this is what you want for betraying your friend, seeing him pay the price right here without lifting a finger. Just tell me where Unit Zero is. Help! I. You're not considering it, are you? Tell them what I don't know. Get off of me. He deserves to die. That's right. But I'm starting to believe that you really don't know anything, poor child. But because I like you, I will fulfill your wish and kill this human. <laughs> we can't just let him die, can I? Alex? No, we can't. Let him die, shoot Acheron. Oh shit! I don't know! What am I supposed to do? Shoot Acheron. Leave him alone! <laughs> you can destroy this shell, but we will come for your husband. I don't know if that was a good idea. Fuck out of here. Thank you. I really hope I'll get out of your way. I, I swear. Thank you. That he will help us in the future with something. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm not hurt at least. I shot one, but the other got away. Bear? Can you hear me? Damn it, still no signal. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this Acheron seems to be the one who intercepted your signals and destroyed your long range communication device. So I can't warn Bear. Damn it. We need to go back before it's too late. Pygmation! Achievement unlocked. Bear, are you all. Oh no. Let him go. Oh shit. I'm okay. Boss, I tried to fight them. There were just too many. It so we, we couldn't do anything. Rabbit, what is the meaning of this? Why is the EIU here? I'm sorry. I have my orders. Stay where you are. Bear is in our custody. Welcome home, Raven. Now, shall we try if Bear knows more? A little bird told us that one of you knows where Unit Zero is. Let him go. We don't know anything. 
or you don't know anything. We shall find out. Now, Bear, tell me where Unit Zero is. I... I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I believe you do, my friend. There's no point in hiding it. There's no escape for you. Okay, I'll tell you, but first, you let Raven go. Promise me. Bear, don't you dare. Sorry, I can't do that. But you know what I can do? Shoot her if you don't talk. Rabbit, would you ready your weapon? Yes. I'm sorry. I wouldn't recommend shooting her if you're oh, after shit. zero. Curious. Explain. Raven, I'm sorry. I, I meant to tell you. I swear. What the hell are you talking about? You're... You are Unit Zero. Bear, this is not the time for your jokes. It's the truth. You are a novice. So perfectly built that you can even fool yourself. Only Lion, Coyote, and I knew about it. And Coyote's dead. So is Lion. Shit! How? When? Did you kill Lion, Novus? I had no part of it. Lion killed herself when she saw that we compromised the EIU. Have you never wondered why Zoya never messaged you, Bear? The moment she pressed the send button, we were inside EIU. A secret organization equipped with advanced stealth technology and information about the whereabouts of incredible bodies like this one. The Japanese military Novi. Yes, but they were only a tool to find Unit Zero. What do you want with Raven? Stop talking about me like that. I'm not Unit Zero. If you are a Unit Zero, then you should have a certain memory. A memory of a chest. Isn't that so, Tuke? What? How do you know that? So, you truly are Unit Zero. Impressive. You've even fooled us. Leave her alone! This is not a memory. In fact, most of your memories are fabricated. But this particular one, it's a hidden piece of information. You are a walking safe, Raven. You're lying! They're not. It's the truth. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Open the memory. <sighs> Open memory G3121. I don't know what you're trying to do, but this is ring, 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 ring. Memory G3121 located. Enter passphrase. Holy shit. Enter it. I don't know the code, I swear. Lion was the only one who knew. She believed the knowledge too dangerous to be shared. This is why she killed herself. What? What just happened? We'll find a way to crack the code. Kill Bear, take Raven. Oh shit. Mr. Bear, Miss Raven, close your eyes. Trust me. Who said that? Take this, you bastards. Hey. <laughs> nice. Flash grenade? You. Don't move, robot. Bear, we have to run the avalanche protocol. We can't let them get away. No, don't. It'll kill them, no. We have to. They will hunt us down. Soli has them under control. They'll have all our data. Meta, run the avalanche protocol. Decision time. Should I run the avalanche protocol and blow up this place, Alex? What again? Oh shit. I don't want to spare them. I mean, they will be on our ass. They will. I mean, I'm really, I'm all the time for saving people and everything, but they just tried to kill us, so we blow up HQ. Initiating Avalanche Protocol in 5, 4. Everybody run! Avalanche Protocol in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Avalanche Protocol in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, now I feel, now I feel sorry for him, you know? Now I feel so bad quick. for him. The shuttle is over there. We'll be at my hideout in about half an hour. Nobody knows about this place. We should be safe there for now. Thanks for saving us, Sam. How did you even know where to find us? I received an urgent message from someone called Meta. 
Sent me coordinates, said I need to get my flash grenades, gun and sunglasses and go there ASAP or you guys would <laughs> die. How that person even knew I had all these things is beyond me. Peter, you saved us? I... I told you I love that AI. You are <laughs> friends. I never had friends before. I couldn't let you die. Bear. Raven, I uh... Tell me that wasn't true what you said. That I'm unit zero. It's true. It's I... All these memories, they're... They're false. The EIU planted them, just as Anova said. So everything was a lie. Even us? Our marriage? No, Ra Raven, please. We, uh, us, this is real. We're married. I love you. That hasn't changed. How can I believe anything you say after this? How can I believe anything I know? I'm sorry. I, I didn't want any of this. Gorski and Marco developed the Unit Zero and the Protea Shell. You're not wearing a shape-shifting suit. You are the suit. Marco and I have the mission to help develop it and then steal it for the EIU. They let Took live in an apartment to test their, your social capabilities. Took made a friend there, Phil. That was me. It was all planned. The EIU wanted to test the Unit Zero, you, to see how far the disguise can go. Nobody knew the truth about you. Only Coyote, me, and the boss, Lion. Lion wanted to know that you were truly able to be human before implanting the data of a secret location in your memory. Location to what? I never knew. Lion refused to tell me. We changed your appearance so Gorski wouldn't recognize you anymore. You became Raven. You were part of my squad so I could keep an eye on your development and, well, I, uh, I fell in love with you. Both of you. Me, the, the guy who couldn't care less about Novi. In love with one. It's ironic, really. I wanted to change you and instead, you changed me. I wanted to tell you, but Lion made it clear that if I did, she would make sure we would never see each other again. So I kept it from you. So you let me live a lie. I... Uh... Bye, Nisha! Raven! What's wrong? Uh, my... My head... Uh... What is it? What's wrong? Bear... I'm sorry. What? What's going on? It's Code 7. She's been infected. It's taking over. Oh shit! No! No, no, no! I won't let it! There must be something we can do! Alex! Meta! Please! Alex? May I access your knowledge on Code 7? Sure. Go ahead. Reading intel. Oh, so fascinating. So many hard choices. Good. Okay. Thank you. Raven say, ah! Ah! <laughs> That's the spirit. Did it work? No. Sorry for the inconvenience. But I managed to slow it down. It'll give her some time. That's all I could do. Raven, are you okay? Better let her sleep. She needs rest. Yes, of course. You're right. In fact, you should rest too. We need all our strength oh, for what's to come. Achievement unlocked, memorized. We finished if... episode two. Oh boy. What's happening? A behemoth. Oh, shit. Soli must have found it. Nisha, give us strength. He'll wipe out the whole city. Oh, oh no, it's enormous. Rusty balls. That thing might even be out of my league. Calculating. 
done. That behemoth will reach the city in approximately seven hours. That means we still got time. He has no idea who he's dealing with. I can hear him in my head. He says, he says, It doesn't matter where you run. I will find you, Sam. We'll see about that. Hold tight, guys. It's time to step it up a notch. We're not done yet, Sony. We're just getting started. Right. All right, cool. That was episode two. To be continued, I like that. So we have episode three lined up. So the next episode will be out in schedule as usual. I really like this episode and I'm really sorry the length of it got a little bit out of hand. All I wanted to do was maybe like finish the mission with Raven. But in the end, I wasn't aware that we were going to finish the whole episode now. I really liked it, I love it. I wasn't like this was really surprised that Raven was the unit zero and that Bear was in on everything and that he knew it. The decisions in the end were kinda hard again. Like I I I'm still for it, like they would have come after us, maybe the end would have been different. I'm not sure about this. But and when he said, like, okay, they got my daughter, I felt bad for him, and that was, like, right before the explosion, so there wasn't anything we were able to do about it anymore. So, yeah, that's the decision we have to live with now. But I'm really curious on how this will continue. This game is really, it gets better and better every episode, and I'm so looking forward to episode 3, and I'm already annoyed by the fact that I have to wait for episode 4 to come out. It hasn't been announced yet when it will come out, but I don't want to wait. Like, I want to start immediately with episode 3. I won't today, but the next episode will come out as planned, as usual, in the usual schedule. So, episode 2, your decisions. Did you shoot Slicer with the laser gun? No. That's the majority. Did you let Hamza die? No, that was the majority of well. Did you run the avalanche protocol? Yes. And that's not the most people that did this. That's pretty interesting, to be honest. That's really interesting. Okay, back to the menu. So I think everything saved. At least I hope so. Yes, looks good. Alright, so I will end this episode right here. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more Cut 7 content. Again, in the next episode, we will start with episode 3 immediately. And I will see you, hopefully, in this video. See ya!